For some time now, government has been focusing on the prevention of the spread of coronavirus, giving little attention to epidemics like malaria, which unfortunately continue to claim many lives. According to Dr. Jimmy Opigo, the Assistant Commissioner in Charge of Malaria Control at Means of Health, Uganda still registers about 16 deaths to malaria disease on a daily basis. Singling out districts of Busoga and Teso subregions as places with high prevalent rates, Dr. Opigo says the situation has been worsened by floods. Karamoja is over 30 percent. The reasons we know, there's a nomadic lifestyle, people sleep out, so mosquitoes feed on them, housing is not good, poverty, you know. The next region with the most malaria is West Nile. West Nile mostly because of insecticide resistance. With the support from Global Fund, government has rekindled efforts to eliminate malaria in households across the country after successful procurement of 27 million mosquito nets. The Permanent Secretary, Means of Health, Dr. Diana Atwine, has tasked national medical stores, a government agency entrusted with the distribution of the nets to ensure transparency and accountability at all levels for meaningful returns. And we want really LC1 this time to be very, very active to, because they have registered their homes, they know their homes, they know their numbers, and so they will be working with the VHTs to make sure that if, if even our teams from the district, from the center, to be moving from, from, from house to house so that we are able to, 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 to give everyone. Aware of the continued spread of coronavirus, Dr. Diana Atwini says the distribution exercise will strictly be in full compliance and observance of the preventive measures against the pandemic. That we are going to procure PPEs for our teams that will be in the field that will be protected. They will have masks, they will have everything to protect themselves. As they go into people's homes, they will be protected. So our VHTs and other teams in the, in, in, on the ground should be uh, rest assured they are not going to be exposed to infection. National Medical Stores General Manager Moses Kamabare says everything is in place to ensure a successful exercise, highlighting the use of IT systems to monitor progress. This system has been working for us before. Any part of the country, wherever you go, you should be able to access this system. Any part of the country where you can make a call, I don't think there is any part of Uganda where you cannot now make a call and somebody receives. As long as you can receive a call from here, you can as well send information from here and it reaches. Meanwhile, government is soon finalizing preparations to heighten the country's preparedness to manage the surging numbers of coronavirus patients. According to Dr. Diana Atwine, Plans to expand regional referral hospitals are at the tail end. By next week, I, I think we should be ready because they were set, setting up the, 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 um, the halls where we are going to put our patients. And this, this is not only in Nambole, but we are looking at also expanding our regional referrals so that we increase the capacity. Should we get uh, big numbers, we should be able to, to it, it should not take us by surprise because we, do not, we, we have seen what other countries have gone through. We don't want to start stampeding at, at last minute. As of Tuesday, 16th June 2020, Uganda had registered 724 COVID-19 cases with about 351 recoveries and no single death. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.